So, how lucky are we? We're joined by Noelle from Fits in the Tantrums here at South By. How Hi, are you? I'm here. Thank you. I'm How's so good. How's South By been so far? Oh my gosh, it's been a whirlwind. I showed, I got here yesterday at like 6.30 and ended up at 2 Chains show oh, last night. 2 Chains? Yes, I, I was didn't even know he was here. Yes, he was in town. He was here. I got to see him play last night, so that was super fun. And, and today I spoke on a panel for Save the Music Foundation. And wow. Yeah, it's been a busy morning. Busy, busy, busy. busy. Day. And, and now you're here with me. <laughs> and here we are. Here we are. <laughs> and I think that's what's great about South by Southwest. There's so much going on, and I'm sure you've played yeah. so many festivals. So, what makes this one different than some of the others you've played? Well, our band really got our career start at South by. Like, we were a band that got a record deal after a showcase at South by. Wow. Which is, you know, it's like living the South by dream, I guess. That's you know? literally so, the dream. Yeah, it is. Austin in general and South by Southwest is such a fabric of fits in the tantrums and our start. Yeah. And now you're here. Does it and make, now I'm do, here. Do you feel like you have to come every year now, like homecoming? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I got mad love for it. But, I mean, I remember the days of, like, doing, like, multiple shows and not eating. And, like, it was, like, one show after the next, five shows a day. We were, like, here for, like, three days. And, you know, I felt like I had been on tour for, like, a year, you know. <laughs> but it, it's an incredible experience. It's, it's really great for, you know, kind of, like, starting acts, like, people that are getting their buzz. It gives music community the opportunity to really go and support new uh, new talent. And that's what South By has been about for as long as I can remember. And something yeah. that you created I want to speak on is yeah. Diversify the Stage. Yes. It's an organization. We're trying to make space for women, yes. people of color, LGBTQ. Yeah. How would you create that and sort of what is your direction? My idea is really to create an infrastructure of ed education and the ecosystem of the live community, right? So we have, you know, everything that is really made making an artist function in the live space, I want to put a spotlight on those career paths and introduce them to communities that we are not seeing behind the scenes. You know, it, 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 it's very far leaning one side and we will re really want to create that balance that you see on stage. You know, like you're getting multiple uh, uh, backgrounds and ethnicities and journeys on stage, but you're not seeing that behind the scenes. And for me, that was something that I really wanted to, you know, have a discussion. You know, I really looked at my business and my infrastructure to see, like, how are people being found? Like, how did we find our tour manager? How is our tour manager finding our sound engineer? And, you know, all of these things. So I had to educate myself, and now I'm bringing that to students that have an interest in behind-the-scenes career. They don't want to be the next Beyonce, but they want to contribute to that production in some way. So we've created an apprenticeship program. We're actually, this is our second year of doing this, and we're, you know, encouraging 25 young, bright, you know, individuals to enter a new space in the music industry. That is incredible. Thank you. And you yourself, you know, being the only black and woman member yes. of Fits in the Tension, <laughs> that puts you in a unique situation. Absolutely. So what has your experience been like? I mean, you know, I, I, for me, I kind of figured, like, is this just the norm because I'm an alternative? And as we got closer to pop, I started to see, you know, less communities, communities of color involved in the business. And I wasn't sure if it was just because of the genre or if it was something that was across the board. Like, are we seeing it also in hip hop depending upon how big the artist becomes? Uh, is it just an intentional practice? And, you know, something that I've learned is my power as an artist, I can dictate the way that my team looks. Yes. You know, like when I recognized on my very first tour that I was tired of being the only female, I made it a requirement for us to hire female technicians yes. like that was something that I wanted because I needed that balance like I was I was tired of being the little sister on the road um, and now it's it's really about there's just the journey like how beautiful is it to create a space that has so many different stories and so many you know people are contributing to your work and your craft when you're on the road I live most of my life on the road 90% of my income is made on tour and that's a fact because everything has really changed with how we consume music, how we get paid as creators. And, you know, I felt like it was now something that we really need to shine a spotlight on. Absolutely. You know? Absolutely. Yeah. And let's switch gears and talk about music yes. for a little bit. Yes. You guys have had an incredible career. Money grabber, hand clap. Yes. Where do you see your sound going next? 
Oh man, it's wherever the river takes us. We're so <laughs> we're such an like experimental band. We never wanted to just stay pigeonholed into you know to one vibe. You know, it's like we went through our Motown kind of you know stacks filling period. We implemented more of the new wave period on our second record. You know, we're really experimenting with different sounds. We've always like I'm I'm a hip hop girl. You know, I my nickname back when I was uh, you know coming up in my college years was. B girl with the golden voice. Okay, and B girl. Yay. Yeah, that was a part of my my history. So I really like to have that kind of backing, and Fitz loves it. And you know, we're just experimenting a lot. So we'll see what happens with this next record. Do you guys fight about the genres? No, no. Thankfully, I you know I'm old enough to understand the music that he was listening to when he was like a teenager. So no, it's just it's really honestly it's about the storytelling. You know, it's like. We all contribute to the story that we're telling. And when I write with Fitz, I have a very different female perspective and how I want to approach something and, and like a melody. And you just really find that balance. That's what's also really incredible about being in a band is that you have that consistency and collaboration, you know? And you guys yeah. inspire a lot of artists, obviously. But who inspires you? Who's somebody you would like to collaborate with? Oh, my God. Who wouldn't I? Bjork. She's Ooh. still on my top, like, top ten. Okay. Uh, Tom York is somebody I would love to, you know, work with. When I'm thinking about just, like, artists, um, I mean, The weekend right now is incredible. I'm also a huge fan of Polo and Pan, okay. so I would love to, like, work with them. I, I'm all over the place. Diplo. Hi, Diplo. What's We're like, up, Wes? Diplo, weekend, Let's please go. call. Let's do it. <laughs> I love it. And let's talk about the tour. You guys are yes. going on tour this summer. Yes, we I have already our looked at the tour. dates. You guys are playing on my birthday. I might have to get some tickets. Oh, hey. Well, no, you can just be my guest. You want to be my guest? <laughs> I'll you be can your come special through. guest. I would love that. I would love Tell that. Tell me, what's what can fans expect on the tour? We, you know, excitement. We're going on tour with St. Paul and the Broken Bones, so that's going to be super fun. I get to actually touch in Nashville as well, which is where I've been living for the last like seven years. So that's going to be super fun. But Yes, it's just really about bringing joy back. You know, I feel like we lost two years, you know, of, of experiences, and we just constantly want to bring joy to people. So you're going to still have that same electricity and that call and response and just all of that. Is there a certain yeah. place or venue you're excited about seeing? Backstage, we were talking about Denver and Red Rock. Yes, Red Rock. Where are you, where are you like, I can't like... wait to get back there? Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to think, well, you probably know more about my schedule than I do, but going back to Nashville, the Ascend is one of my favorite venues to play. It is a beautiful venue. Um, we have some other venues that we haven't announced yet that I can't say. Okay. But I'm very excited about those too. But well, yeah. I can't yeah. wait to see you out on tour, and thanks so much for taking the Thank time you. to talk to us today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye, y'all. You guys, good luck. That's great.